Hi everyone, and welcome to Shavlik Protect. My name is Joe Andert, and I'm a technical communicator with Shavlik. In this video, I'll demonstrate for you the three different ways to install an agent. So, let's get started. The first option is to use the console to perform a push install of an agent to your target machines. In order to perform the push install, each target machine must be online and have an active network connection to the console during the installation process. You can initiate a push install from machine view. You simply select the desired machine or machines and then use the right click menu. For example, you will be presented with a list of all available agent policies. For this example, I'll select the sample agent policy, a policy that I created in a previous video. The operations monitor is used to track the progress of the installation. Once the agent is successfully installed, you can refresh the view in machine view to see the updated agent state for the machine. In this example, Machine View is reporting that the first machine now contains an active agent and that the other two test machines do not have agents. Sometimes, however, you won't be able to install an agent from the console. Some target machines may have a firewall enabled that blocks the incoming ports required to perform a network installation. On these machines, you must manually install the agent. You do this by copying the agent installation file to the desired target machines and then running the agent installation wizard on each machine. In this example, I'll use Windows Explorer to locate the agent installation file. The installation file is named stplatformupdater.exe and it can be found on the console in the Data Files folder. After copying and moving the file to the target machine, you simply double click the file to begin the manual installation process. The wizard will now install the agent on the target machine. But you are not done yet. You still need to register the agent. Shavlik Protect offers two different registration methods and the one you choose depends on how the agent will communicate with the console. If the agent machine is not on the corporate network and does not have a direct connection to the console, you would choose the cloud option. And I'll talk more about this option in a minute. For this example, my agent machine is connected to the corporate network, so I will choose the direct connection option. The registration process specifies how the agent will communicate with the Shavlik Protect console. The first thing you need to do is specify the host name or IP address of the Protect console. In this example, I'll specify the IP address. You also need to specify the port number to use for forwarding information from the agent to the console, as well as the credentials necessary for accessing the console. In this example, I'll just use the defaults. The last thing to specify is the policy that you want to assign to this agent. The list of available policies will initially be empty. To populate the list, you need to click Get Policy List. This will contact the Protect Council and populate the list with all available agent policies. Once the list is populated, simply select the policy you want to assign to this agent. In this example, I'll select the sample agent policy, a policy I created in a previous video. To complete the manual agent installation process, click register. The third option is to install the agent from the cloud. This is particularly helpful if you have target machines that are away from the corporate network and unable to contact the console. To install an agent from the cloud, the target machine must have internet access, and the console and your agent policy must be pre-configured to use the Protect Cloud service. These requirements are described in much greater detail in the help system and in a related video. 
For this example, I have pre-configured everything, allowing me to demonstrate the cloud installation process. The first step is to use your web browser to go to protectcloud.shavlik.com and log on to the cloud service. On the Registered Councils tab, verify that your council is registered with the cloud service. On the Agent Keys tab, click New. Use this dialog to create an activation key that can be used to install one or more agents. You can also use this dialog to specify the email addresses of the users that you want to receive this key. After providing all necessary information, click Create Key. The agent key is created and then emailed to the specified recipients. The email message contains a web link for downloading the agent installation program, as well as detailed instructions to each recipient on how to install the agent. For example, let's take a look at the email message I just sent to myself. A download link and the activation key that we just created are shown at the top of the message, and step-by-step -step instructions for installing the agent are provided in the body of the message. The first thing each recipient will do is to use the agent download link to download and save the agent installation file to their local hard drive. This is the exact same file that I used earlier in this video when demonstrating the manual agent installation process. I can demonstrate the cloud installation process by using the same file to quickly reinstall the agent. This time, however, on the Agent Registration dialog, I will choose the I connect to the Council through the Cloud registration method instead of the Direct Connection method. I can then copy the Agent key from the email message paste it into the activation key box, and click Register. The agent will be placed into a temporary provisional state until the agent registration request is processed. After the registration is approved, the next time the agent checks in, it will receive its agent policy and it will become a fully functional agent. For more information about Shavlik Protect, go to the web URLs shown here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a large number of Shavlik Protect user guides. Thanks for watching.